enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button. We want you to tag along and like it too. Give us a thumbs up. And we do sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country, so check out GoodWorksTractors.com. unbelievable weather here in Michigan January 4th it's like 40 something degrees today I had to take my coat off I was getting hot just a week ago just over a week ago I guess covered in snow had blizzard warning everything for Christmas and it's basically all melted away besides a few random piles one of the reasons I like loader mounted attachments over like a frame mounted attachment a snow pusher like what we're taking off today putting on the grapple easy and quick to do because we know there's gonna be more snow coming pain in the butt to take off a loader, put on a front mount snowblower, and then vice versa if you want to do other jobs, other chores with your tractor. So we're putting the Summit Grapple to work today on the Summit TX25. Fun little job for it here, picking up some logs, gonna cut some firewood. So you're gonna see the Summit GX54 Grapple. It's a clamshell style grapple, okay? So one long top jaw, one long bottom jaw. Tines are fairly short on the bottom, and, and I like that. I've talked about that uh, on some other grapple styles that we've had as well. Works really well for kind of raking and pushing things along and we'll show you some of that pushing along later in this video too but uh, with a longer flat bottom jaw those have benefits to them and you can kind of maybe carry things better but i think you'll see in this video we can carry a log pick and carry it just fine uh, even with the smaller jaw there the top jaw you just kind of rotate it forward down and it locks on anyway we've done a whole grapple overview we'll put a link somewhere in here so you can take a look at that and get all the the specs on it if you want to but we don't sell this grapple it's available through summit's website so um, even if you find it on our website there's a link that'll take you there on where to buy it but honestly i was pretty surprised you know this is a small compact tractor and, and pretty surprised at the amount that it'll lift up on these logs uh, there was one i didn't really want to cut up today it's kind of a, an awkward weird looking one and i wasn't even sure if the tractor would pick it up it did pick it up and got it off the ground just barely but that's kind of the idea behind in general when somebody will, will reach out and ask me what's the right size grapple for them, getting a, a strong, lightweight grapple for a small tractor. It could be a small compact, it could be a subcompact like the 1025Rs, the Kubota BX. You don't want to tie up too much weight in your grapple because that's precious lift capacity that's being taken away from being able to get a log like that off the ground. All right, so I am not a professional forestry man, okay? So go easy on me with comments. I'm not putting myself out there just to get ripped apart on that. If you have some constructive feedback, some tips to make life easier, I'd love to hear about that too. But overall, we wanted to see how the grapple could help with cutting wood and lifting up those logs and kind of getting more to a, an easier to reach height and easier to handle height. Um, you don't have to cut it on both sides then, you know, so you're not worried about pinching your saw that way too. And for the most part, that worked well. I wanted to be aware of the fact to not let that load get too uneven, so I kept going back and forth to one side of the log and the other. That way there wasn't a maybe a, I don't know, a potential tipping hazard with the tractor or anything like that too. And anyway, I wanted to get everything just roughly the same length overall. That's a 16 inch bar that's on there, so I was just kind of eyeballing that. I, I have a tool somewhere, a little magnet with a bar on it that you can adjust the length and uh, kind of do initial just little um, check mark cuts all down your log and so you can, you can knock that out quickly, but I don't know, in the move, I seem to have misplaced that. It'll turn up eventually. Oh, so one thing I did want to bring up, and I, I feel like I saw this somewhere, but I, you know, I think my, my, my chain's starting to get a little dull, and what is it? If there's big chips that are flying out, that's when it's nice and sharp, but if it starts to be more like sawdust and smaller chips, that's when it's time to be sharpened. It wasn't really struggling to cut this wood, but I feel like that's kind of the, the eyeball test, right? Is if it's, if it's one type of chips coming out, it's sharp. If it's another type of chips coming out, it's time to be sharpened. So anyway, uh, when they sold me that chainsaw, the, the sharp shop, um, they, they sold me a, a sharpener for it too, so it'd be a good chance to use that. It's, you know, I've used chainsaws sporadically. This is the most I've ever used a chainsaw since we've had this new place here, and I'm really loving it and, and looking forward to cutting more wood and, and uh, seeing how everything goes. Well, so we got a nice pile of wood here. We have more over there, and uh, I just want to keep the wood coming. It's fun to just come out here and spend a couple hours, especially on a beautiful winter day like this. You just don't get many of these in Michigan, so I want to enjoy it. We're going to end up splitting this with the split fire wood splitter that we have in the back of the Kubota. Give that a shot, and um, 
you know, I don't heat my house with this. I don't heat the barn, but you know, we had the bonfires and we've got fireplace in the house. That's a lot of fun. And uh, just like having a wood supply there and who knows, maybe we start a firewood business, little roadside stand out there. I guess more to come on that. Now, if you enjoy firewood, there's a lot of good firewood channels out there. You have Hometown Acres, uh, Ohio Woodburn, and GP Outdoors, Outdoors with the Morgans. There's a lot of other channels out there that know a lot more about firewood than I do. I just enjoy cutting it up. in the market for a tractor attachment, something for your front end loader or your three point hitch. We sell all sorts of stuff. We also have a discount club too. So we work with partner vendors where you can go to their website, enter in code GWT, save 5% off your order. But the stuff that we sell, free shipping, 36 states, you get rewards, we have financing available. Check us out, give us a shot at goodworkstractors.com. But as far as this tractor, well, Summit's website will tell you the retailers that's available at. As far as this grapple, you get that from Summit Tractor's website. And on that note, if you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.